video, we'll demonstrate how to load several types of labels into your Brady Printer i7100. Though it is possible to load labels after ribbon is loaded, it's easier if you load the labels first. You can view our separate ribbon loading video for more details. For wider rolls, first unlock and remove the label roll retainer. Place the roll on the axle with the label side facing out, coming over the top of the roll. Return the label roll retainer and lock it into place. Next, thread the media under the white rocker arm, over the silver arm, under the print head, and under the antiseptic brush, being sure to stay in between the red media guides. You can adjust these guides by turning the red knob clockwise to expand or counterclockwise to bring together. Once the labels are loaded, stand at the front of the printer to visually locate the amber-colored sensor light. Use the black bar on the sensor to manually adjust the sensor light so that the light falls within the body of a label or for notched materials aligned directly with a notch in the media. Once your labels are loaded and the print head closed, press the green arrow button on the screen to feed your label. And then you're ready to go! When loading narrow media and narrow ribbon, follow the same loading instructions. You will see that when you put the retainer flange on, the media roll will self-center on the axle. When using narrow media, you'll want to use a narrow print roller to pair with your narrower ribbon. It reduces wrinkling, and it extends the life of the print head by reducing friction. Check out our video on changing print rollers to learn more. When loading perma-sleeve media, be sure to load the roll with the printable side of the sleeve facing upward, which often means the roll will feed off the bottom of the media.